Welcome again. We are still talking about kingdom prosperity. Jesus is Lord. What a morning. What a morning. God has been good to us. God has been good to us. So we are still talking about kingdom prosperity. I just want us to go to the word of God as we continue. Psalms 35 verse 27. The Bible says, let them shout with joy. Let them shout with joy. And be glad. And be glad whose favor my righteousness calls. And let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified. <coughs> Who has pleasure, pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. So it is God's desire that we prosper. It is God's desire that you and me prosper. If we go to Jeremiah 29 verse 11, it says, For I know the plans I have towards you says the Lord. Hallelujah. Thought of peace and not of evil. To give you a future and your hope. So as you are going to go through this series, I want you and me to understand that it is God's will that you prosper. It is God's will that you do what? It's God's will that prosperity be in your house. Prosperity is not for next door. It is for you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. What is prosperity? Just in simple, prosperity is to be successful, to succeed, to grow, to increase, to gain, to thrive. In this season, I see you thriving, I see you growing, I see you going to the next level. Can we go to Genesis chapter 39, verse 3? Genesis chapter 39, verse 3, hallelujah, glory to Jesus, hallelujah glory and his master saw that the Lord was with him and that the Lord had made his hands to prosper and the Lord made all what he did to prosper in his hand. Wow! What a testimony. This is you that God wants you prosperous. God wants you prosperous as we are in the kingdom. God wants you prosper. He wants you well and he wants you prosperous. He wants you well. He wants you prosperous. Let me go again to the scripture which I read in the book of Ecclesiastics that prosperity is a gift from God. Ecclesiastics 5 verse 19, it says, Every man also <clears throat> to whom God has <clears throat> given riches and wealth and has given him power to eat them and to take his portion and to rejoice in his labor, this is a gift of God. Hallelujah. So I want you to understand that God wants to prosper you. It's a gift from him and he wants you to do well. The other meaning of prosperity is advancement in the pursuit at any desirable thing. Advancement in your vision. Advancement in what God wants you to be. Making gain. Thriving. God wants us to thrive. God just wants want us to barely making us he wants us to be prosperous. The Bible says the thief came to kill, steal, and destroy. But he came that we might have life and have it in fullness. So God wants us to thrive in whatever we do. He wants us to grow and expand. And I said this morning, this is your portion. Let's go to Zachariah chapter 8 verse 12. Masekedele Monda. Zachariah chapter 8 verse 12. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Zachariah chapter 8 verse Let's go. Hallelujah. The Bible says, for the, seed shall, for the seed shall be prosperous. The vine shall give its fruit. Huh? The ground shall give it their increase. And the heaven shall give her dew. I will come cause the remnants of my people to possess all this. To possess all this. Number one. Your seed shall be prosperous. Your vine shall give fruit. Your ground shall give increase. And the heaven shall give their due. Wow. 
Thank you, Pastor. So when we talk about prosperity, we talk about advancement, we talk about whatever we put our self-efforts to, to increase. If you're under the sound of my voice, I want you to know that God wants you to prosper, when God wants you to increase. You have to speak these scriptures in your life. God wants us to advance, to gain. God wants us to be successful in our businesses, in our enterprises, in the work of the ministry, in our bodies, in whatever concerns us. It is the will of God that he increases and he expands you. Let's go to Psalms 115 verse 14 to 16. May the Lord give you increase more and more and your children. You and your children. Hallelujah. Verse 15. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. May the Lord bless. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and the earth. Hallelujah. The 16. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. The heaven, even the heavens are the lost. But the earth he has given to the children of men. Let's go to verse 14. Pastor, the first one we started with. May the Lord give you increase. More, you increase more and more. Today, if you're under the sound of my voice, God wants you to prosper. You know, he wants to give you increase, not only once, more and more, not only to you, but also to your children. God's blessing, God's prosperity means increase. God's blessing means increase, not only to you, but your children. If you're under the sound of my voice, I want you to know that it is God's desire that we are blessed. It is God's desire that we increase it. Jesus came, that he took all the things on the cross of Calvary. One of the cases he took was the case of poverty. He came that we might be prosperous. So we must know, no matter the situations which are around us, which are around our nations, we must know and understand that it is God's will that he prospers. It is God's will that he increases us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I want us to go to Genesis chapter 28, I mean, Deuteronomy chapter 28, from verse 15 to 18. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. It says here, but it shall come to pass if you do not obey the voice of the Lord, your God, to observe carefully all his commandments, and his status, which I commanded you today, that all these cases will come upon you and your family. Hallelujah. You know what? There were cases, there were things which were spoken there. Hallelujah. Let's go to verse 18. Hallelujah. The next scripture. It says, Case shall be, 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 be you in the city, but case shall be. And, and case shall be in the country. But you know, there's an opposite. If we obey God, the Bible says, Blessed shall be you in the city, and blessed shall be you when you go out of the city. Hallelujah. Why am I talking about the other side? We have to understand that, you know, there are principles we have to live by as we do the kingdom of God, as we desire God's prosperity, as we live by God's I mean, ordinance, as we follow God's ordinance, our things will be done or will be according to the to the, to, I mean, according to the word of God and prosperity will be our portion. We are going to discuss about what are the conditions of kingdom prosperity. Not today, but another time. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus that your fields will be blessed. If you don't follow the thing, the, the, the principle of the, the kingdom, sometimes there can be dryness in our, in our field. But we must know that God has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Hallelujah. Let's go to the next scripture. Hallelujah, glory to Jesus. Still in Deuteronomy, chapter 15, verse 16, it says, Case shall be the city, and case shall be your country. Let's just go to the next verse, Pastor. Case shall be the basket, and case shall be your needling bower. Hallelujah, verse 18. Case shall be the fruit of your body, and the produce of your land, the increase of your cattle, and the offspring of your flock. But what does, what does God say, thank you, about curses? In the, book of, in the book of Galatians, chapter 3, the Bible tells us he has redeemed us from the curse of the law. So whatever who come against us, the Bible says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Having become a curse for us, for it is written, 
Cursed is he who hangeth on a tree. What am I saying? If we go in the book of Deuteronomy, the same chapter on top, there he's talking about the blessing. Now we are in Christ Jesus. Christ took our cases. The blessing of the Lord must follow us. As we follow the Lord, as we do principles, the blessings of the Lord must follow us. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 28. I just want to read some of the blessings which, are, which will follow us as we serve God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. It says, now it, it shall come to pass if you delight and obey, you know, the law, I mean, the Lord your God and observe carefully. So there are key words we are going to be teaching each other in this series, observing carefully all his commandments, which I command you today, that the Lord your God will set you on high above all the nations of the earth. That's prosperity. God is going to set you on high, setting you on high. When you're prosperous, you're like a beam. You are like a beacon in your industry. You are like a beacon in your city. You are not ignorable. In this season, we speak the grace not to be ignored. The Bible says, and all this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you. You, sh you because you obey, obey the, the voice of the Lord your God. Hallelujah. In this season, I want blessings to over." take you. Yeah, you shall be blessed in the city and you shall be blessed in the country. I want you to go as we leave this morning. I want you to go and just speak the scriptures on your life. You shall be, you know, blessed shall be the fruit of your body, the produce of your ground, the increase of your head, the increase of your cattle, the offspring of your flock. Hallelujah. The list goes on. What I want you to do, thank you pastor, as we leave this platform this morning, I want you to know that God sent Christ Jesus so that the blessing of prosperity might come on our lives so that we can be what God has called us to be, so that we can be what God has called us to be. I want you to go and meditate on this word. No matter what you have, no matter what you're facing, no matter how contrary the situation is, the scripture cannot be broken. The word of God are yes and amen. So we have to make sure that we put in motion, we put in motion the word of God to work for us, to work on our behalf so that we can possess our position. He is the Lord. He wants you to prosper. He sent the Lord Jesus Christ so that we can prosper. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, prosperity is your portion. As you go out, as you come in, God wants you to prosper. God wants me prosper. A prosperous. You have to know it. You have to believe it. The Bible says, Blessed is she who believeth, for they shall be a performance of those things which have been said of him, of the Lord. Let's go to John 10, verse 10, as we close. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. He says, The thief cometh, but except to kill, steal, and destroy. But I have come that you might have life and have it to it abundantly. What am I saying this morning? I don't know what has been stolen from you. I don't know what the thief has eaten from you. But one thing I know, God is faithful in this season. As we bask in his presence, God is the God of restoration, the God of more than enough, the God of all flesh is coming your way. It's coming your way. Hallelujah. He's coming your way to change your situation. He's coming your way to change the land you are in your life. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. As said John 1, 2 tells us, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things. Be in health just as your soul prosper. Hallelujah. If you're under the sound of my voice, I declare prosperity in all things. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, prosperity in all things. May the favor of God be so prominent in your life that people can see it. Hallelujah. I speak English in your life. I speak advancement in your life. I speak doors to open in your life. I speak prosperity on your way in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ oh Seketele Mohanda it's your season to prosper it's your season to increase it's your season to go to the next level God wants you to prosper never doubt it no matter what you are going through you know continue to hold on to the word of God hallelujah glory to Jesus you are blessed because you trust in God you are blessed because you walk on God I mean you walk you, 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 you walk with God. You are blessed because you are planted on the 
rivers of, of, of God, of living waters. Like Psalms 1, verse 1 to 3 tells us, Blessed is the man who walketh in the counsel, who, who, blessed is the man who do not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the path of, of the sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scorners, but he delights in the law of the Lord, and the, in the Lord and his law. He meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by waters, which bring forth fruit in all season. His leaves shall not wither. Whatever she does shall prosper. Today, I declare that whatever you do shall prosper. As you plant seed, the seeds will germinate. Whatever we do shall prosper. You know, we need to speak this word. We need to speak the word of God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Knowing this, that he wants us to prosper. Hallelujah. You know, Joshua 1 verse 7 to 8 tells us it. Hallelujah. Only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do all the law which Moses sent and commanded you. Do not turn to the left or to the right and you may prosper in whatever you do. Wow. As we know, God wants us to prosper. You know, it says this book of the law shall not depart from our mouth. As we know that God wants us to prosper. God wants us to prosper, but there are things we have to do. There are laws we have to set in motion. We have to set in motion believing the word of God, loving God. As we go this day, I want you to claim your scripture of prosperity. God wants us to prosper. God wants us to prosper. His word concerning your prosperity will never go back to him and accomplish it. So Isaiah 55, 10 to 11 tells us, For the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and do not return there, but the waters the earth, and make it bring forth and bud. That is, may, that is, may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. So shall my word which goes out of my mouth, he shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. It shall prosper in all things I have sent it to be. Today, God's word is going to prosper in the area of prosperity. God is going to prosper you, spirit, soul, and body. I said no matter what you're going through, God will see you through. Your prosperity is sure and it's for a lifetime. God bless you. Good morning. See you tomorrow morning. Jesus is Lord. You deserve our praises all the time. There is no time you are not worthy of praise. There is no time you are not worthy of thanksgiving. There is no time you are not worthy of our worship. Every time you deserve our worship. Every time you deserve our praise. Because your goodness doesn't have time. Your goodness exceeds time. And so because of that, even in good times and in bad times, we praise you because you are worthy of it. Whether we feel like it or not, we praise you because you are constant, because you never change. It has nothing to do with what we feel and what we don't feel. It has everything to do with who you are and who you will continue to be. This is why we praise you. This is why we worship you. When we lift our voice in worship to you, you do exploits. You do mind-blowing things. You do things that minds cannot comprehend. You heal. You, you restore. You bring back to life. When we give you thanks, even our mortal bodies are quickened. Our mortal bodies are quickened. Things change for the better. When we give you praise and we give you thanks, things work together for our good. This is why we praise you. In and out of season, we praise you. In good season, we praise you. Bad season, we praise you. Every season, we praise you. This is why we praise you. We fill up to it. We don't fill up to it. We come up with our praise to you. And in giving you that praise, you sort of...